The remains of late Madame Ruth Ukoko Agelegi has been laid to rest on Saturday, the 10th of August 2024, at Ogariki Community in Ogara, a Western government area of the outer state. Mama, until her death, is survived by three children, 23 grandchildren, 24 great grandchildren, brother, sisters, and relatives. The funeral kicked off as her body was transferred from the protesting Nigeria Enterprises Mortuary Embalming Service Ogara in Ethiopia West to a family compound for funeral service. Thereafter, the interment at Agulin Extension Ogariki Ogara. <laughs> Because you are good. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Yeah. The choir will lead us in song when we all get to heaven. And, uh... oh, yeah. Go ahead.
Entertainment of guests followed at Divine Open Feed Event Center in Ogareki, where notable men and women of Ogara Kingdom were in attendance. During interviews with guests, many spoke highly of Mama, a good virtues, and they also advised the children to follow the footsteps of their late mother and grandmother and always stay united as one big family in love and harmony. I am um, Chief Moses Okwe, popularly known Morocco. Uh, well, she's a uh, good to my family. We are in-law here. She's a good she's a good mother-in-law to my family. Chief Okwe's family. Uh, well, I appeal to the children to cooperate, to work together. The family should work together because they did a good thing for the barrier. My name is uh, Comrade DC Gabriel S.A. And you teach my job West. Yes, yes. The daughter invited the daughter invited us for the mother barrier. The daughter is a nation from uh, Okome uh, uh, Primary School. So she invited the union. So as the chairman of the union, I have to call with my school. Yes, yeah, say uh, God, she should rest in the bosom of God. We wish the family the fortitude to bear the loss. And uh, we also say that uh, God should be able to that the people should live as long as God wanted them to live their destiny. And I also pray that uh, nobody should use the disease, the face, to fight the children. The children should live the happy life after that. Yes. Hi, Bishop Dr. G. Samson in Abegono. Yes, so everyone that is here present, my message is for everyone to follow the legacy that Mama has laid down and they should do more better than our mother who has been laid to rest today. I'm Mrs. Nora Kokori from Oliver Baptist Church. Mama, when she was alive, we attended the same church together. She is punctual, she is God loving, she is always in our meetings until when she grow old, she can no longer come again. But you know, distance is not a barrier. So we still meet her and she was baptized in the church. Uh -huh. She was baptized in the church and we meet her to visit her and pray with her. Even when she first of all attended other church, but she now follow her second daughter to our church, but only by Baptist church. So she fellowship with her before she grew old and she stayed at home until her death. And what I advise to the children is that so long our work on here, here on earth, we have somewhere going. They should focus on the work of God because the mama the mother she served God even till the end uh, so whatever they do they should remember that the where the mother has passed that they will follow I am comrade Edoso Christana this is option the association of primary school head teachers of Nigeria the daughter the daughter of this late mama this is Mercy Okwe. Is, she is one of us. She's an headmaster. Yeah. She's one of the head teacher of uh, one of the schools in Ethiopia West. Yeah. So this is a, this association is for headmasters. So she's one of us. We came here to grace the occasion with her. To join her to bury her mother. We condole with her for the loss of her mother. And uh, we pray that it is only God that can feed the vacuum that has been created in that family. So, may the soul of the late mother rest in perfect space. I'm uh, Engineer Nantanye Agelegi, a son of a Sunday Agelegi, brother to late mama. So, the late mama is my auntie. And um, the, my, the, the late mama is a, is, is a mother is our mother just like is just like our grandmother because our grandmother died at the early age so she was in position of our grandmother so she treated us as our grand 
has a grandchildren. So she is so good to us. She, she, she is so caring. She cook. When we are small, she used to cook and gather us together, feed us. Uh, even if we have challenges of money, sometimes she rendered the help to us. Uh, and Mama was so, is a peaceful woman. She's a, a very peaceful. And uh, she's a woman of, uh, of our world. So Mama is a very nice woman, to, even to the family in general. The children, when speaking, talked about the love Mama showed while on earth, how disciplined she was, and how she always preached about love and peace among them. They said they will all miss her and she will forever remain in their hearts. My name is Ayi. This is my grandma. I miss him a lot because he's a very nice woman. Sometimes he's not the type of woman that shares her with children away. So she's a very nice woman. I think I'm very grateful for everyone to come here today to come and celebrate with me. My name is Oko Victory. I'm the grandson to my late grandmother that just passed away. So how would you describe your late grandmother? Well, she's love and kind. And um, I think she's someone that will miss a lot. We're going to miss her because she has really been caring, understanding. She prays for us always. And um, I think all of us we have something to remember about her. This is Mercy Okay, I'm the second daughter. Then the last one of the mother that we are married today, my late mother. My late mother is a disciplinary. She doesn't take any message from anybody. And she loves my children. She cares for us. As a single parent, single parents. Personally, I was three years old when my father died. She was the only one that took care of, took care of us. And today she's the one that made me who I am today. My mother is a very loving mother. She loves her children. Oh, I miss my mommy so much because she died in my hand. I'm the one that I've been taking care of out of all the children. I'm the closest to her. So she was with me when she died. She has been with me. For the period of two years, what is that? My message? Well, as a mother, her, her parent, it is good for what to care for. It's our children. Because the children you are seeing today, there will be many people that will represent you tomorrow. If you learn the financial wealth for them, your lineage will not end. Your name will continue to uh, to exist. So my mother lived a good name for us, and I'm following her legacy today. So thank you. Ah, uh, I'm Pastor, I'm Pastor Engineer Esuru. I'm the husband. The woman has been very faithful. He knows Christ. He always go to church, pray for the children. He wants the progress of the children. Even though she doesn't get to eat, he wants the children to eat and others that are around her to eat also. So, he's, he's cheerful. She's cheerful. He loves children. The important thing that makes me to have joy in her most of the time, she always calls me, Maila, Agame, Agame. <laughs> so she was ready, she just like me. Say Agame, Agame. So that is how. My name is Akbarero Henry Akos, and this is Rero TV. Thank you for watching.